I made this video using just five words and a mouse click. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it along with other useful text to video AI generators. First up is Runway ML. This is an AI research company creating tools for video and image creation. One of the tools they have created is the text to video generator. Think ChatGPT, but instead of getting a text answer, you get a video. To use it, you can sign up for their free plan and click on text to video. You can then create a video from text or an existing image. I'll click on the text tab. Then I'll type in my prompt, aerial drone footage of a futuristic cityscape. Then click on free preview. You'll see four screenshots of what the video will look like. Hover over one of them and click generate this. The software will then create an AI video for you from scratch. The Gen 2 version only allows you to create videos up to four seconds long and you'll need a paid plan to upscale the video and download it without a watermark. As you can see, it looks pretty good. You can use this to create four second long B-roll footage or get a paid plan and create an entire video stitching together four second long clips. Here's another AI video I've created of flowers in a meadow and here are a few other examples of videos you can make with the prompts used. If you click on upgrade in the top right hand corner, you can see all the plans. The top plan gives you unlimited video generations as well as all the features in the previous plans. If you have enough budget and time, you could create an entire 10 minute video using clips created from Runway ML. The rest of the video editors in this list will allow you to create long form content from text using pre-built templates. So let's get into those. One such editor is wave.video. This is an online video editor which claims to be the easiest platform to make videos, but we'll see about that. Firstly, sign up to create an account. Once you click on create, you can then generate video from AI from text or from a blog post using the blog URL. I'm going to select choose video from text. From here, you can enter your title, then up to 50,000 characters. You can either use the text as is, or you can get AI to summarize it. You have the option to choose whether you want to use all stock assets or only free ones. And you can also choose the mood of the music. If you are posting to TikTok or Instagram, it is probably better to use trending sounds to help you push your videos out there. Once you have done that, you can select the aspect ratio for your video and the format and style of your video. AI will choose stock images to go with your text, so don't focus too much on the images. Just choose a template based on the text layout and color palette you like. Select the one you want and then click on create video and it will work its magic. Once done, you will see the video editing interface and preview the video that was created. You can see the stock videos and images were added along with the text from my script and background music. From here, you can edit it if there is anything that doesn't quite fit. I have found with wave.video that it doesn't always generate appropriate images, but you can easily change it by selecting the clip on the timeline and clicking replace. You can then upload your own video or choose a different stock video from their library. You can also add your own voiceover by clicking tracks, then selecting another audio track. The track will then appear on a timeline. You need to click on the plus sign on the audio track and then you can upload your own voiceover, generate text to speech audio or record directly on the timeline. I'll record a quick voiceover on the timeline, then add voice and you'll see it gets added. One cool thing you can do with your voiceover is add a waveform to the video. Click on enhancers on the left hand menu, then the waveforms tab. You then have a choice of styles to choose from. The good thing about this is that it is synced with your audio. I'll record a quick voiceover on the timeline. 
For extra effects, you can also add progress bars and a countdown timer from this menu. Once you are happy with the video, you can click publish. There is a free plan which allows you to download 15 minutes of video with the watermark. If you want to remove the watermark, then you will need one of these paid plans. The next text to video generator I want to show you is Lumen 5. Lumen 5 is more geared towards companies and businesses who want to create videos at scale, but that doesn't mean you can't use it. The interface and editor itself is easy enough to use with a drag and drop layout similar to Canva. They have a forever free community plan, which comes with the usual watermark and 720p video resolution. As with most online video editors, if you want to remove the watermark and get more features, then you would need to choose a paid plan. These are the plans and prices at the time of making this video. You will need a starter pack to get 1080p resolution downloads. Once you have signed up for an account, you can either choose a pre-made template as a starting point or make a video from scratch. If you skip the template page, then you'll be given three options on how to make your video. Here you will see the text to video AI script composer. You can now paste in a URL from a blog post or article or paste the text in directly. I am going to copy some text in from a script about stoic quotes that I made earlier. Now you have two options. You can skip and use all sentences. This will make a video based on your text exactly, or you can continue with AI. This will take the text and compose new text specifically for a video. I'll choose continue with AI. And as you can see, it breaks down the text into a shorter 45 seconds script. It also gives you three variations on the left. Choose one you like and then hit convert to video. Once your video is created, you can then preview each scene and customize it using the tab on the right hand side of each slide. Or you can use the panel on the left hand side to add icons, music and change the format. Again, you can upload your own voiceover in the music tab and change the video size for different platforms. I'm impressed with the results of this one. I like the images and colors it selected. They match the theme of the text and there are lots of customization options. I'll keep it moving, but let me know in the comments if you want a more detailed tutorial on any of these editors. Next up, we have invideo.io. I've done a few tutorials on InVideo as it's one of the best online video editors out there. To start with, they have a huge number of templates and a large catalogue of stock videos. It's also super easy to use and a drag and drop editor is like Canva. To create a video using the AI text to video tool, you need to first simply select AI text to video. You can then choose a template. Under each template, it gives you a brief description of the style of each one. This will help you select one that will fit with your video niche. If you want to change the aspect ratio of the video, then you can do that. Simply click on landscape, square or portrait. Okay, let me select a template. I'm going to be making a motivational video like I did in a previous example. So I'll select this one that says upbeat motivational video. Once you click on the template you want to use, it will show you a preview. If you're happy with it, click on use this template. It will then take you to the script writing screen. Similarly to the other tools, you can use an existing blog or article URL to create a video or just copy and paste the text in. You can also just type it in if you don't have a script and you can get AI to write it for you. Describe the script you want to generate and it will write it for you. I will use a script I previously used for this video, so I'll just paste it in here. As you can see, it breaks the text down into scenes. You will have to review all the scenes as sometimes it doesn't get it quite right. For example, this one just says B1. This is the end of a quote. So I would edit this in to show the whole quote. To edit that, all you need to do is click on the scene with the main quote and then tag it on the end. Then just delete the next scene, the one that said B1. 
If you want to change the background video, select the video and on the left hand side click on videos. You can search for a particular video, for example trees, then drag and drop it onto the main video and select add. Like Canva you have all the media elements on the left hand sidebar, you can just drag and drop it in. You have all the videos, images, music, text and elements. If you click on the main video it will bring up various editing options along the top of the screen. You can adjust the speed, adjust the colours, trim the clip or add animation to the scene. Of course you can also add a voiceover, you can use the automated text to speech, add your own file, import from upload or record your voiceover. Again, like the others, they do offer a free version, but it will have a watermark. If you want to sign up, then the plans start from $15 a month. Next on the list is Pictory. Pictory is another online video editor which starts at $19 a month at the time of this recording, but you can sign up for a free trial. So once you have signed up for a plan, a free trial or a paid plan, then you'll be taken to the main dashboard. Here you can choose to convert a script to video, article to video, edit a video using text or convert images to video. For this video we'll be using the text to video feature. So select proceed and this will take you to the script editor. Here you can simply start typing your script or copy and paste it. I will copy in the same script I used before. This will be a good way to compare the results from each video generator. Once you've added your script, click proceed in the top right hand corner of the screen. Just like with InVideo, Pictory will give you a range of templates to choose from. Simply select the one you like the look of. I'm going to choose this one here, then it will prompt you to choose the aspect ratio. I'll choose 16 by 9 which is the standard YouTube video size. But if you wanted to create shorts or reels or Instagram or Facebook posts, then you can choose one of the others. Once the aspect ratio is selected, it will then create your video storyboard. Here you can see it is broken down the text into scenes. You can click on each one and see the video created. Again, the left hand side has all the features if you want to change or add to your video. If you want to change a particular scene, then simply click on that scene, select visuals and then choose from one of the videos or images. You can of course search for an image, choose a video or image you like and once you click on it, it will automatically be added to the scene selected. I typed in diving as an example, but of course you would choose something that fits your video. If you want to add a voiceover, then select the microphone icon underneath the video preview. You can use an AI voiceover, upload your own or record a voiceover. Okay, let's take a look at the next text to video generator, Steve.ai. Just like the others, it has a free plan which allows you to download three videos a month with a watermark and a Steve.ai outro. If you don't want that then the paid plans start from $15 a month. Once you have signed up you'll be taken to the main dashboard. Here you'll see different tools to help you make your videos including a text to animation option which I covered in my last video. Check that out if you want to see it. Now we're going to check out their text to video tool. Click start and this will bring up a window for you to auto generate a script. If you don't have a script, then you can choose the options from the drop down boxes and steve.ai will generate a script for you. Alternatively, you can type or paste in a script. Again, I'll use the same script I already prepared. Like the others, it automatically breaks it down into scenes and you can make adjustments here if needed. In the bottom left hand corner, it asks you what the video is about. It will give you a few options to choose from. I will select Stoicism and then click Next in the bottom right hand corner. It will then ask you to choose a theme. These are just examples and not what your video will look like. I like the look of this one. Once you've chosen one, Steve.ai will create your video. You can see each of the scenes along the bottom of the screen and the scene settings are on the left hand side of the screen. 
here you can change the layout, the transitions, the scene length and the colors. If you want to change any images, click on the image for that scene and the image settings will come up on the left hand side. Then click on swap image. You can search for an image or video to suit your needs. You can trim any videos and adjust the size as well as add filters to your videos. Steve.ai is easy to use but in my opinion is limited in comparison to InVideo and Pictory. I would prefer to use Steve.ai for its text to animation videos as this offers something that the other video generators can't do. The last tool I want to show you is the Lucas AI Video Creator. You can find it at idamu.com. This is like a chatbot video creator, similar to the Runway ML one I showed you at the beginning. You enter a prompt to get the video. This is currently free. It gives you 15 credits to use to create and download videos. Let me show you here. If I type make a motivational video, it will provide the video idea with an explanation of the video. Click generate video if that sounds right and it will provide a video complete with a voiceover, background music and visuals. In a world filled with challenges, it's time to rise and shine. This if you want to edit it, you can just click here and you can easily change the text, images, music, color palette and voiceover. It's still in the early stages, but it'll be interesting to see how this develops. It could be a really useful and powerful tool to help content creators with short form content. This is the first video I'm making after reaching 100,000 subscribers. So I wanted to say a quick thank you for watching. You're all legends. Let me know in the comments if you use any of these to make a video. I love to see some of your creations. Also, if you found this video useful, then feel free to subscribe to my newsletter for exclusive content straight to your inbox. I'll put a link in the description.